Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be doing a review on the Amok Time Tarman figure from The Return of the Living Dead. One of my favorite zombie movies. It's definitely a really kind of fun horror comedy but I was really excited when I found out that Amok Time had actually got the rights to uh, create this figure and it kind of was in production hell for a while, and a lot of us just kind of lost hope that they were actually ever going to release it. But, um, found out recently that they were shipping, so here it is. Uh, we'll kind of give you a look at the, the packaging here real quick. Kind of gives just a, uh, brief rundown on the figure and what it comes with. Got some good, uh, cover art there on the sides and then here is uh, the guy in his package and I love this is the first zombie figure I've actually seen that comes with a brain that's so fucking cool so yep that's him in the package and uh, we'll pull him out and show you all what he comes with. Alright, here is Tarman, all out of his package. It's a little smaller than I was expecting, but this the detail on this is very, very cool. Um, we'll start out with the accessories. Like I said, he actually comes with this little brain. It's got a chunk taken out of it. Um, what's cool is the brain actually sits in this little blood puddle on the base perfectly so it won't roll around or anything. The base itself actually comes in two fragments, the bottom and then this uh, this back part that has the uh, the canister of the, I want to say it's like trioxin or something like that in the movie that actually sets off the zombie outbreak. Um, it would have been cool if they came with an actual, you know, can like in the movie, but, you know, we waited long enough, this is very cool as it is, so, can't complain that much. Um, the figure itself sticks on this base very tightly. It's got these kind of odd-shaped foot pegs to make it so that it locks in perfectly. It's not going to rock around at all. Give you kind of a little spin around here. Like I said, the detailing on this thing is probably the coolest feature. I always love the makeup effects in The Return of the Living Dead, and I thought this figure does a really great job of kind of... Let's pull this out so you can see the... Get kind of a close-up on the head there. Now, the jaw is actually kind of loose on there, and you can't keep it up it kind of just hangs down. If you spin it, it'll kind of... Oh, never mind. It's kind of sticking. Oh, depends. So, as far as articulation goes, there's not a whole lot of movement in the head. In fact, it feels like if I spun this at the right angle, it would probably just snap it off. But the, uh, the jaw does move. There is very limited articulation in the neck. In the shoulders, it's got the uh, ball joints there. There's no articulation in the elbows at all, or in the wrists. Um, same on this shoulder, it's got... This doesn't even feel like it's going to spin all the way without breaking. Yeah. There's absolutely no articulation uh, from the waist down. There's not even like a, a pivoting at the waist. Uh, the ankles do not move, so it's really good that they actually, they got this perfectly flat so that it, it fits on the base quite nicely. I used to hate that with some of the old McFarlane sets where they would kind of, the legs wouldn't spread far enough to latch onto the pegs on the baseboards, and it would kind of, it would warp the figure a bit. But... This one does a good job. I'll kind of push that in there. So he sits on there pretty good. Like I said, this is 
with the limited art articulation on this, it's more of a display piece, which I assume anybody that's watching this will most likely be buying this for a display piece, not actually as a kid's toy. And I don't know what kind of fucked up parent you'd have to be to get your kids a tar man figure. But, you know, more power to you if you, you start them off loving horror early, so. Well, that's about it. Very cool figure, and it was it was definitely worth the wait. I, I'm really excited to see what else Amok Time has uh, coming from them figure-wise. I know they got the rights to do uh, Herbert West from the Reanimator series, as well as uh, the Leprechaun figures, I've heard. So, we'll see if that happens, but until then, this is a really cool figure to tide you over. And as always, thanks for watching.